Welcome to episode 8 of the Ringo Report. I'm your host, Brandon Ringo. There's a lot going on that I want to get to, but first thing I want to talk about is the show calendar for the week. It's a stacked week full of a lot going on in central Arkansas and uh, really all throughout the state, honestly. Um, happening tonight at Vino's, you've got Livid. It's going to be coming through there, a two-piece power violence fan that you absolutely just do not want to miss. They're absolutely crazy. Uh, also, locals Hypertension are going to be playing, as well as Chain Snatcher, which has members of Blast and Dryer Fire and Second Life. And so their, uh, their debut is definitely one that you don't want to miss. Uh, also, uh, a band called Mammoth Caravan is going to be playing. They're going to be uh, releasing a hot sauce and guitar pedal or something. Um, also, Friday night, Lucero is going to be playing at the Rev Room. And through It All is going to be playing at Maxine and Hot, Maxine's and Hot Springs. And Rodney Block is going to be playing at Whitewater Tavern. All three of those shows, if you're in those areas, are absolutely like wonderful. Uh, you know, Through It All is kind of a really cool pop punk band and their their tour was booked by a friend of mine in Fayetteville named Joe Swink and a shout out Joe um and everything that he's doing which is really awesome. Saturday night at Vino's Census is gonna be playing with Diet Sweets, Prop Hunter, and Ginger Giant. Uh that show's gonna be really cool. Also a an event called Monsters of Todd Nine featuring uh locals Cliff and Susan and a few others is gonna be happening at the Rev Room. Brooke and the Bluff is going to be playing at the hall. And City Gray is going to be playing at the Meteor Guitar Gallery in Fayetteville. That's going to be an album release show. That's going to be a really cool uh, event. Um, Sunday, Sad Daddy is going to be playing at the Whitewater Tavern. Also, Drop the Blade, Maladjust, Fatal Dose, and Chain Snatcher are going to be playing uh, Sunday at Vino's. Um, so it's a lot of really cool stuff that's happening this week. So in addition to all the cool shows that are happening this week, there's also a really big show that was announced recently that I'm very excited about. Um, before I uh, before I moved to Little Rock, one of the bands that I really wanted to see through come through here eventually during my time here was Obituary. Finally, it's happening. Uh, they're going to be playing uh, at the Rev Room on April 19th with Morbid Visions and Severe Headwound. And uh, I could not be happier about this show. It's going to be uh, a masterclass in death metal. It's two local bands that absolutely deserve to share a stage with a band of this level. And the Obituary could not be hotter. They're coming off a tour of the Mount of Marth. They've been touring with bands like Carcass and just all kinds of cool bands. Uh, and so I'm really, really excited, excited to see Obituary coming to Little Rock. This is going to be a good night. So aside from that big announcement, there is also a show that I get to do that have the pleasure of announcing. Uh, it's going to be on Tuesday, April 9th at Vino's. Uh, a couple of really awesome bands from the Midwest are bringing their Midwest marches towards the Southern Front tour to Vino's. It's going to be Pursuit, Necrotisk, and Little Rock Massacre is going to be opening this show. It's going to be a really cool night of heavy metal. Uh, Little Rock Massacre recently got to open for cro and they've been doing really big things and constantly you see them posting pictures of them and videos practicing and working on new music and stuff. So uh, so those guys are going to be really cool. And getting to have a couple of really awesome uh, extreme like black metal, like death metal, just, you know, it's, Little Rock is a wonderful place to see a death metal show if you've never been. And uh, Pursuit, Necrotic, and Little Rock Massacre is absolutely going to be one that you don't want to miss. Uh, a show that I went to recently, actually, was last week, was really, uh, I was excited about, was Zilla's tour kickoff show at Whitewater Tavern. Um, they are, they, they, this last week or so, they've been on a run going to uh, all around the Midwest and stuff. And um, recently, I think they were in Indiana. And so it's really neat getting to see the boys go and do something like this. And uh, this tour kickoff was a great celebration of everything that they worked so hard for. Um, what, what impressed me, I, I was really excited. I got to see Ultra again. Uh, I got to play a show with them last year and it was fun. Uh, but getting to like really sit and watch them play at Whitewater was so awesome. Uh, Natalie is such an, a, a wonderful singer, you know, in addition to the screams, the, you know, that it was, that was really special. And then like Christian on the drums, he's just an absolute madman. Um, and yeah, ultra was really, really fun experience. Uh, and then stressor, those dudes are also kind of like a little rock super group, you know, um, with all of them doing different things and stuff like color design and like, I was afraid and, 
uh, all the stuff that Ty is involved in, you know, they like, you know, they're a, a really important band in this town. And stress is they're so loud, but it's not like overwhelmingly loud. Their sound is really, really, um, it's really shoegazy, but it's also really like, you know, just a wonderful vibe. I've gotten to see them at Whitewater a couple of times, and both times it just absolutely has been very enjoyable. And, um, and as far as like Zilla goes, they were very, very, uh, you could tell they were already tight and stuff, getting ready to go on the road. Like their set was absolutely one of the best I've seen them do. Uh, and they just, you know, they're such a good group of guys. And so that show was really, really a fun way to spend a Wednesday night. And I'm glad I got to see them before they hit the road. For the last thing, um, I talked about uh, Mammoth Caravan releasing a hot sauce at our show that's happening tonight at Vino's. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about the sauce. Uh, this is called uh, Mammoth Cayenne Van. Uh, it was made by Heyman Sauces from Louisiana. Uh, it's my friend Courtney. He's gotten into making hot sauce, and he's like, "Hey, I'd like to do something inspired by your band. Would, you know, would that be okay?" And I said, "Absolutely, it would be okay." And so he started working on this sauce that's got uh, like cuttlefish ink in it, so it's very, very dark. And then it's also uh, got grape leaves, and it's got cayenne peppers, and all kinds of crazy ingredients. Um, I got to actually eat some on a, on a piece of pizza at Vino's today, and it was just. It's such a wonderful flavor palette where it's got that spice that you're like, oh my God, this is hot, but it doesn't overwhelm. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to be selling this for $10 at the show tonight. Also, we have guitar pedals for sale. Um, and we, we couldn't do any of this stuff without the people that uh, come to these shows and support us. So we're very grateful and thankful. And I am personally very thankful for everyone watching this. Um, Next week's episode of the Ringo Report, we're going to be going through all the next, uh, all whatever show announcements happen or whatever music needs happens. Also, I've got a few band spotlights that I'm going to do. Uh, and so, yeah, stay tuned. we got a lot of big things happening. Also, check out this week's episode of Crashcast. It's got filmmaker David Lipke, who has, uh, has got a huge history of filming. He's done movies like Slow Southern Steel. Uh, and he's filmed a bunch of living sacrifice stuff and uh, David's a really cool guy. And so I definitely check that episode out. Also go follow the Ringo report on Facebook or Instagram. Uh, I'm posting band spotlights every single day, uh, trying to hype up some of the shows that are happening. I mean, I've started branching out into uh, posting spotlights from touring bands and to, I, you know, shout out abandoned C for being the first one that I got to do. Uh, they played a show at Vino's earlier this week. Thank you so much for watching.